guys and welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by in this video we'll be making these trendy gong sleeves that you can see on your screen so this is the sleeves on the dress that i posted earlier so i already went ahead to fold my fabric into four so i'll be cutting the two sleeves together the next thing i'll do is to determine the wideness of my sleeves so my fabric is folded into two i'm going to take 11 inches for the wideness so 11 times 2 is 22 inches so the whole wideness of the sleeve is 22 inches so i'm going to mark 11 inches from the beginning of this fabric to the end and i'll connect the dots into a straight line after doing that i'm going to determine the length of my sleeves so i don't want it to be too long so i'll be taking 11 inches so i'm using 11 by 11 inches 11 inches for the um wideness and 11 inches for the length so i'm going to connect all these dots like this and i'll cut out the excess fabric So guys, on the opened edge of this um, fabric, I'm going to go down by 4 inches or 3 inches. It depends on how deep you want it. And I'm going to connect from the center of my fabric to meet um, 3 inches. So if you like, you can take 3 inches. But for me, I'm going to go down by 1 inch to make it 4 inches because I want to create some gathers. So half of my round arm O is 8 inches. So I'm going to just mark the 8 inches and I'll gather the rest on my shoulder area. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out. After cutting, you don't need to shape it because you're still going to gather the sleeve so that it will stand because this is obviously too wide for the arm or area. I'm going to go ahead and notch the uh, middle point. After doing that, guys, I'm going to place this um, fabric on my lining piece and then I'll go ahead and cut. so guys i've gone ahead to use the main fabric to cut out my lining so i have two fabric and um two main fabric and two lining piece so guys the next thing i'll do is to bring in my peplum stay so as you can see the sleeves on the thumbnail it is standing so in order to achieve that you'll be needing this peplum stay this is the strongest one so i'm going to go ahead and place my sleeves that is the main fabric on this on the shiny part of this peplum stay and then i'm going to go ahead and cut so after cutting i'll place the other sleeves again on the peplum stay as you can see i've gone ahead to do that and i left about half an inch on the base of the sleeve so that i'll be able to use it to turn my lining so i've gone ahead to do that guys remember that the shiny part of this peplum stay is the part that is going to face the wrong side of your sleeves i'm going to go ahead and iron this down so guys i'm done ironing as you can see the gum stay has already sticked to the fabric that is why i said you should iron the shiny face to the wrong side of your fabric so that it can actually stick so i'm going to go ahead and bring in my lining and i'll place it on my fabric on the right side of my fabric after doing that i'm going to go ahead and sew the base on a straight line so guys i've gone ahead to do that and this is what i have i went ahead to turn it inside out so you can see that our sleeves is 
beginning to um, come together so the next thing I'm going to do is to top stitch on the upper part of these leaves okay so I'm going to sew on the outside I'm not going to sew on the inside I'm sewing on the right side I'm going to just hold the lining and the main fabric together and I've gone ahead to do that guys this is what I have so the next thing I'm going to do is to close the side of the sleeve so I'm going to pin the sleeves right sides facing each other and I'll go ahead and sew on a straight line so after doing that guys this is what I have I'm going to go ahead and turn my sleeves inside out so I've gone ahead to do that guys you can see that the sleeves is wide that is the ammo area of the sleeves is very wide which is not a problem because we are going to gather the remaining part to the shoulder area So I'm going to place my tape from the center of the sleeves. So like I said before, half of my round arm O is 8 inches. So um, I'll mark 8 inches. What is left is 3 inches. So the gathers that I'm going to crease on the shoulder area will be 3 inches. So we're going to do this on the sewing machine. But let me show you guys what I mean. So on the center part of the sleeves, I'm just going to gather them up like this. Let's say 1, one inch each so i'm going to mark eight inches okay after doing that i'm going to mark the other side so i know where i am going to um pleat okay so i'm going to fold the sleeves over like this so according to my measurements i am pleating three inches okay so i'm going to pleat them on each other like this i'll pin and then i'll use my machine to hold it down like this So guys you can see what we have after holding the pleats down so i'm going to go ahead and bring in my dress i'll open the shoulder area of the dress up sorry the arm or area of the dress up like this and i'm going to place them right sides facing right sides so what i'll do is to pin the area the part of the sleeves that i um, pleated i'm going to pin it to the shoulder area of my dress I'm going to pin it down and I'm also going to pin the arm o of the sleeves to the arm o of the dress and then I'll go ahead and sew all the way around. so guys after sewing all the way around you are going to repeat the same process for the other parts of the sleeves and yeah that brings us to the end of this tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to like this video leave your questions in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next 